Oh, Microsoft Word. Can't live with it, can't live without it, as they say. I think I've been using Word since 1985, when it first came out for the Mac. Uh, and you can't avoid it. It is the lingua franca of publishing, like it or not. Um, you will be expected to deliver a manuscript as Word these days, not as a printout. And the Word file will be used to typeset a book, and it will often be used for revising and editing, so you'll get a Word file back with track changes in there. You may write your book in something else than Word and export it into Word at the end, but at some stage or other, I think you're going to have to look at Word. So it's as well as accepting that you're going to have to get to deal with the thing. This is Word 2010 on Windows, and the good news is it's actually a very, very good novel writing application. Once you get the hang of it, and once you get rid of the rubbish, this is the standard screen. And there's a lot that can be changed to make this easier for you. Um, I'm gonna try to do several videos about um, using Word for novel writing, but to begin with, I'm just gonna start with the very, very basics. And they are to do with aesthetics, to do with how the thing looks. Because when you're writing a novel, you really don't want a lot of distractions and word out of the box comes with an awful lot of distractions. Let's start with the first one. For me anyway, it's this colour, this awful blue. It looks like avatar vomit to me. It really is very, very distressing. And the good news is it's very, very easy to get rid of. Um, the other thing that really bothers me is the ribbon. I mean, all of this stuff up here that you get about mailings. I, you know, I'm a writer. I'm not going to do a mailing. Review, fine, I can see that. References, you know, I'm not writing technical documents, so I just don't need to see all this stuff. Um, and the great thing is, of course, you can just get rid of that ribbon altogether by clicking the up and minimizing it. So that looks better already. And I've got these nice pages here. Okay, this is a book called Carnival for the Dead. Will be out in 2012. It's set in Venice. Now let's do something about that colour. Here we go to File, to Options, and there are several things in here that we can do to make things easier for ourselves. First of all, customize ribbon. Here you can decide what appears in that ribbon bar when you do pull it down. So I can get rid of mailings. I can certainly get rid of references. I don't need those. Okay, I won't see those again. Let's go to General and change this color scheme to black, which this is, these are not editable. You've only got three options, black, silver, or blue. And black, I find fine. That to me has improved things immeasurably. Uh, and if I get rid of this sidebar, which I'll discuss in another video shortly, you can see we've got a pretty clean writing environment. And the other thing I'm going to do to make this even easier is you'll see here I'm in print view, print layout, which is the easiest one for me. There are other options that we'll look at a little bit later. There is one called draft, but I find that quite uncomfortable because it just shoves up everything into the side of the screen here. Maybe if you've got a really tiny laptop screen, it's fine. But if we go to print view, we see we have the print layout with pages, with headers, and with gaps between the pages. With Word, for Windows, we can make that even simpler. We just click, double click between the pages and the headers and the page breaks disappear. So we get that very clean, long running piece of text. And that for me makes Word a much more usable novel writing novel editing application than the, the big beast that you get that comes out of the box.